hi guys so this is going to be a quick tutorial and uh, in this video we will talk about creating uh, holographic material using uh, red shift renderer inside uh, 3d studio max and uh, for this uh, yeah so this is going to be quick so let's start it and i will start with creating dome light and already have set the renderer to red shift renderer so by default uh, dom light has uh, enable background turned on and if I play here uh, you can see white background and you can load any HDRI or bitmap or texture here so I will turn off uh, background and we are going to create this material against the uh, black background alright so let's start with uh, creating it's if material blender to blend between various uh, shaders and uh, base material i'm going to use uh, incandescent material and which is basically self illuminating material and uh, I will change mode to temperature and increase temperature to something like 15,000 for bluish loop or you can reduce temperature to more of a warm loop but let's try 15,000 and uh, we will control uh, opacity using uh, map so to create a holographic x-ray look so let's start with uh, creating composite map and with composite map we can blend between uh, more than one map in various blending mode so this is uh, useful to create uh, blending between multiple maps and uh, first map i'm going to start with final shader and what it does it creates uh, uh, two material uh, facing color and perpendicular color. so this uh, black color it's uh, facing towards camera and white is perpendicular to uh, camera direction and you can either use uh, curve mode like this or uh, IOR index of reflection mode and increase this uh, IOR or coefficient to so I will keep the value to 1.2 something we can also increase this but let's keep this zero and we can also turn check this uh, double sided option uh, it doesn't uh, seem to affect much in this model one more thing i can do is select everything except light so uh, all helicopter objects and go to red shift object properties and turn off shadows because uh, we don't need uh, shadow in this one and it will increase uh, uh, rendering, rendering speed I mean increase rendering speed and decrease uh, render time and I will also turn off this visible in reflection reflection and cast reflection option so as I turn off visible in reflection you can see it looks more of like uh, microscopic uh, x-ray material so i will turn on visible in reflection so object will be visible in reflection which are the side of the model all right second map uh, i'm going to use is uh, curvature map and it is also very useful so as you can see it turns out completely black and I will change output range to 0.5 
and input range minimum to point three point four something like that you can play around with radius but it seems no effect there and uh, you can also play around with contrast something like that okay and uh, mode to addition or linear dodge yeah you can try around multiple modes and it see you can see its effect over the model so i will keep the addition mode and change opacity to 50 percent or 30 percent something like that next the set that we are going to use is uh, red shift wireframe and it will create wire center for red shift so thickness is very strong for the wire i will reduce it wire thickness 0.01 yeah wire thickness one is more visible now and you can turn on off these uh, hidden edges to see and uh, if you reduce intensity you can more easily see the wires and if you turn off this double sided uh, it's visible more appropriately so I will keep this so then it is turned off as you can see on the wing here so if I turn off those hidden edges will not be visible and uh, it will give nice result so I will change mode to addition again and reduce opacity to 10 or 25 percent and increase intensity multiplier to 1.6 or 7 something like that so this double sided uh, affects everything with uh, wireframe mode and as I use wireframe mode uh, I'm not able to see back side of the model so let's see if we turn off that uh, visible in reflection makes any changes no it doesn't so let's keep it on all right so next uh, I'm going to just copy this setter into second slot of layer 1, uh, set it to edit it you and uh, let's see. So here I'm going to use, uh, on first one I'm going to use 0.5 for intensity multiplier and second one let's try 1 and let's turn on double sided and we are just going to use curvature map for this one so i just copied curvature map yeah let's keep this off double sided Okay, so now all we need is uh, glare and glow for this one. Alright, so we need uh, glare for this one. So, all that. Uh, yeah let's keep the wire frame opacity to 10 percent 
so by default uh, red shift doesn't support any glare or glow and i'm not sure if uh, it supports same in houdini or any other software but it's not there in at least in red shift uh, for 3d studio max so we are going to use uh, this uh, vfb plus script and which is the virtual frame buffer for 3d studio max and uh, it gives uh, frame buffer option like uh, v-ray or f storm for any renderer for 3d studio max and fortunately this works with red shift so all you need to do is uh, turn off this uh, enable render view in red shift and just render it and you can see we have this in uh, vfb plus 2 and you can do all the glare options so i will show that now but before that let's uh, turn on sampling override and uh, maybe something like 256 one two uh, for the lighting as well but we are not using any shadow so it doesn't matter but still i will uh, use it and uh, single scattering not sure if it will affect or not but let's try and uh, yeah let's change maximum sample to 256 and i will turn off randomized pattern if i'm going to use denoise uh, these options will not work with vfp plus frame buffer so if i'm going to use uh, denoise in frame buffer then i don't need uh, randomized pattern for each frame for enemies so this renders now and So render time increased to 17 seconds now because uh, we increase sample for lights and maybe for reflection. Let's okay. So let's keep it and uh, I will enable this uh, color correction mode and you can click control click to apply color correction here. And let's see exposure in real time also increase contrast to 1.5 temperature to 1 to add more blues and saturation to 1.5 yeah so it's more blues like this maybe reduce exposure a bit okay filmic tone mapping uh, do i need it if i increase shadow doesn't make any effect yeah but this will kill the highlight i mean compress the highlight so i will keep it zero you can also apply vignette like this for photographic look i will keep it zero so main thing here we come uh, blur and uh, bloom and glare option so negative value will sharpen the image and let's try some random rays glare i will increase weight now and you can see so something like this 0.5 for weight size 4 same for the bloom yeah, 0.2 and also increase saturation for the bloom and you can increase this noise reduction here so it will blur this noise as well as some part of the image kind of uh, give some different look so and 
means firefly reduction if you increase more you will lose age so i will just take point one something like that so you may need to use only this rgb data or you can also use uh, alpha i mean it is will work mostly against black background but if you go against white then you may lose some detail and low information so i hope you find this tutorial useful and uh, goodbye